There have been a number of universities that have been involved in looking to nature to understand uh, sort of engineering solutions that nature has found to movement control in general. Both the physics of movement in air as well as the sensory biology of movement in air are accomplished in a range of organisms like insects or bats or birds. My name is Tom Daniel. I'm a professor of biology and I'm also a professor in the program in neurosciences. And I am the director of the Air Force Center of Excellence on Nature-Inspired Flight Technologies. The contribution of the center is going to be really about reverse engineering how sensory information is acquired. There are really interesting engineering solutions that nature has worked on that provide inspiration for future technologies. And at the University of Washington, we have a big group working on everything from micro-implantable electronics to track flying, the data coming into the neural systems on flying insects, to looking at how the brain detects different chemical signatures of flowers and odors and everything else, and, and, and our lab of, of the range of projects from gyroscopic sensing to neural encoding of information. The focus of my research project is looking at the electrophysiological signals that the Manduka sexa is sending from the peripheral nervous system to the central nervous system. And it's all about sensory encoding, telling the brain what the rest of the body is sensing. What we're actually doing right now is recording the electrical activity that is being sent up and down the, the spinal cord of the moth, if you will. Even though our push is all about the basic science, the long view is extending that into transferable technologies that are for good cause. The, the basic setup for all of these experiments is that the moth sits upon an automatic landing platform at the beginning, and we pull that landing platform away robotically um, to start the experiment. And so one of the first steps towards um, engineering a new generation of autonomous flying vehicles that are able to navigate through cluttered real-world environments is understanding a little bit more about how animals accomplish the exact same task. All of that information is coming in. It's processed by the neural system. They're accomplishing flight maneuvers that we wouldn't dare dream of. We want to know how is that maneuverability modulated by the sensory information. We basically start the moth out in the center of what is essentially a video game world. It starts out in the center of a ring-shaped forest of a thousand trees. And those trees are, are spaced randomly throughout the world. A lot of what our experiments are doing is trying to determine um, by looking at the data and watching uh, you know, all of these moths fly through these, this forest thousands of times, um, whether or not we can actually detect changes in their behavioral control policy on the basis of the availability of uh, visual information that they receive. I think at the end of the day, the Air Force is interested first in the basic science that, that comes out of understanding how neural systems work. Take that basic science and say, are there technologies that we can develop? One of the great outcomes is that we'll have students that are working together in really uncommon teams. Maybe that's the biggest driver for me personally, is, is that it's the next generation that's going to take this to really interesting places.